in Space Watch, astronomers say they've been receiving radio signals from a distant galaxy. Scientists with Canada's CHIME Observatory say one of their telescopes picked up 13 bursts of fast radio waves, known as FRBs. The signals came from a source 1.5 billion light years away. The cause and precise origin of the radio waves is still unknown. A similar event has only been recorded once before. Physicists believe merging neutron stars are likely behind the disruptions. Induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. Oh, goddamn hacker, that second damn night that asshole's cut in. The movement was begun eight months ago by a small group of scientists who discovered, quite by accident, these signals being sent through town. Things giving me a headache. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Must took the hackers months to figure out how to do this. The poor and the underclass are growing. Racial justice and human rights are non-existent. They have created a repressive society, and we are their unwitting accomplices. And let's talk about these masks. These masks are the low-hanging fruit until the vaccine comes out. But again, when I get occasionally confronted with a person in public about wearing a mask, I say, look, this America, be a patriot, protect your fellow citizens, protect your fellow citizens, step up, do the right thing, do the right thing. There's overwhelming evidence, overwhelming evidence that the mask, and depending on the type of mask you wear, increases exponentially. The prospect that you, if you are a carrier and you don't even know it, that you will not infect anyone when you cough, sneeze, sing, shout. ...mask, and I'm using a vape. As you can see, that vape, which has aerosols the same size as COVID-19 or larger, goes through and around a surgical mask. Now, if we take a cup mask and have a good look at it, here we go. Notice it goes right through the mask easily and goes in every direction. The aerosol is not affected by the mask in any material. Now we look at a surgical mask with a foam strip to protect above and keep my glasses from fogging. Lo and behold, the aerosols go all around it. it has no effect on me spreading aerosols to you. Now a cloth mask I borrowed from my wife. Once again, here we go. Boom, straight through and around. It has no effect on the spread of aerosols. They go every... But let's go through some of the things that you all actually went for. First, they told us not to wear masks, and they backed it up with science. Then they told us to wear masks, and they didn't back it up with science. They said, do it for your fellow American. Matter of fact, they told you to go home, find something, anything to put over your face to protect you from a pandemic. I got ahead of myself. They actually said a person doesn't have to die from COVID for it to be a COVID death. I'm going to repeat that. They literally said a person doesn't have to die from COVID for it to be a COVID death. And we all said, excuse me, you all said that makes perfect sense. I'll end by saying that it goes a little goes back to the study some months ago by Columbia University saying that we didn't have to be this way. If the president had acted sooner, would have saved just one week earlier, would have saved 30 some thousand lives two weeks earlier. I think it was 51 or 57 thousand lives. I hope we've learned a lesson. Hope the president has learned the lesson. But again, this is not about Democrat, Republican, or independent. It's about saving Americans' lives. So let's institute a mask mandate nationwide, starting immediately, and we will save lives. The estimates are we'll save over 40,000 lives. Okay, I wanted to film this and show everybody. Me and my daughter came to this building. It's like an office building on um, Wilshire. 
But coming into the parking, look at this. Okay, you see this warning? Warning, breathing the air in this parking garage can expose you to the chemicals, including carbon monoxide and gasoline or diesel engine exhaust, which are known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive. Okay, so these signs are in the majority of the parking structures that you go into and the buildings. I pay attention to all this stuff. I pay attention to my surroundings. So, okay, this, the COVID stuff, yeah, wearing a mask for this, I'd be more concerned about this, okay, than COVID-19. It clearly says known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects and other reproductive harm. They told us that the virus couldn't travel past six feet, but it managed to travel around the world. Now I'm wondering if the virus somehow got a passport. <laughs> and this is one of my favorites. They always tell you the number of people that tested positive, but they never give you the number of people that actually tested. So they'll tell you that 20,000 people tested positive, but they won't tell you that was out of 2 million tests. My name is Dr. Tapper. I'm in private practice in Omaha, Nebraska. I don't wear a mask. I see over 200 patients a week. I come in close proximity with every patient that I come across. Why haven't I contracted this so-called disease? Americans make up 5% of the world population, but yet we take in 65 to 70% of the world's pharmaceutical drugs. We are one of two countries that allows pharmaceutical advertisements on the television. But yet 80% of Americans are suffering with a chronic disease associated with poor lifestyle choices. 700,000 people will die of heart disease this year alone. Doctor, please. Bring yourself in order. 600,000 people will die of cancer. 300,000 people will die of obesity this year. When is enough enough? I can feel some of you all's blood boiling right now. Their intention to rule rests with the annihilation of consciousness. We have been lulled into a trance. They have made us indifferent to ourselves, to others. We are focused only on our own game. We have... Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. That is their primary method of survival. Keep us asleep, keep us selfish, keep us sedated. They're pulling the water out of the sand like sponges. Blow it out your ass. ass. Then they also said the hospitals had a 95% mortality rate. And they also said the ventilators had a 95% mortality rate. But yet... People kept going to the hospital and they kept putting them on the ventilator. I would love to see the numbers on how many people actually died from corona outside of a medical facility. If this is truly about health, then mandate healthy living, exercise, good food choices, chiropractic, outlaw tobacco and cigarettes, processed sugars. I believe it was Thomas Jefferson who stated, if people let the government decide what foods they eat and what medicines they take, their bodies will soon be in a sorry state as those souls who live under tyranny. You see, God made your body self-healing, self-regulating. If you give the body what it needs, it can be healthy. It is like the wilted plant that sits under the sun. An allopathic model to that is to, to shield the sun, to protect that plant against the sun, cut off its leaves, medicate or vaccinate that plant. But an epigenetic, an epigenetic approach, a wellness approach, is to give that plant water, and it can be well. You see, your body is no different. We must eat well, move well, think well, and we can be well. In other words, your level of health is the genetic expression of your lifestyle choices. Why haven't your favorite celebrities died from corona? Why haven't we seen any homeless people dead on the streets from corona? I know I sound 
like a conspiracy theorist, but I promise I do have a degree from Everest College. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, or maybe next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you after work, or you can go before work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to somebody right now. They out to help you. You spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's going to help you in your future? All you got to do is pick up the phone and make the call. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. And then they also said that the protesting that took place around the world for a month didn't cause the cases to spike. The protest that took place around the world where millions of people participated did not increase the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, so, Doctor, a new study uh, suggests that recent Black Lives Matter protesters uh, have not led, or the protests themselves have not led to a spike in new cases, but we just heard that we are seeing in sp a spike uh, in states that reopened earlier. Uh, so why is that? Well, first of all, good morning, and congratulations on going international. That's really exciting for you guys. That's great. Um, so yes, I think you're referencing a study by the uh, National Bureau of Economic Research that was just recently published. Uh, it's actually very fascinating. They, they looked at people's cell phone data to track them, and they realized that while people attending the protests might actually be more likely to get the virus, uh, uh, overall, it led to a decrease in the, in the incidence of viral spread in those particular areas. And the theory is that, and, and the, it's not, the theory is that it was because people who didn't attend the protests tended to social distance more. And they know this because of looking at cell phone data of the people in those counties in those areas. So a lot of people who didn't attend the protests tended to stay home and tended to not go out. And but when people weren't protesting and they decided to go to bars or lounges or parties, that was causing the spread of the virus. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not feeling so good. Is it, is it possible we've contracted COVID-19? Oh, no way. That's a stupid Republican disease. Only Republicans can spread it. Let me check. <laughs> Do you support Black Lives Matter? Yes. Congratulations, you don't have COVID-19. Now they're saying it's unsafe to go and vote. But Fauci cleared that up, even though I feel he's going to change his tune in a couple of months. For example, you know, when you look at going to a grocery store now in many regions and counties and cities that are doing it correctly, they have X's every six or more feet. And it says, don't leave this spot until the person in front of you left their spot. And you can do that. If you go and wear a mask, if you uh, observe the physical distancing and don't have a crowded situation, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. I mean, obviously, if you're a person who is compromised physically or otherwise, or you don't want to take the chance, there's the situation of mail-in voting that is done for years in many places. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to vote in person or otherwise. Because we can't give them the kind of ridiculous things that they want that have nothing to do with the China virus. So therefore, they don't have the money to do the universal mail-in voting. So therefore, they can't do it, I guess, right? Are they going to do it even though they don't have the money? They're asking for the $3.5 billion. They're asking for $25 billion for the post office so they can do this, I guess, and other things. At 25, I would hope it would be a lot of other things, too. But therefore, they don't have it. They don't have the money to do the universal mail-in votes. It'll be the greatest rigged election in history. It'll be the greatest fraud ever perpetrated, other than perhaps what they did to my campaign, where they spied on my campaign. There is a war going on, the battlefields in the mind, and the prize is the soul. So, just be careful. Be very careful. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. The revolution will not be right back after a message about a white tornado, white lightning, or white people. You will not have to worry about a dove in your bedroom, the tiger in your tank, or the giant in your toilet bowl. 
The revolution will not go better with coke. The revolution will not fight germs that may cause bad breath. The revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live.